Hi. And we're back. Hi. It's tonight's three on three. An accidental jackpot, a fortune for a painting done by a computer, and a dog's secret side gig. Betsy's in along with Chris uh. Ty, and I have to tell you, this is like the Yuletide log. Baby, it's cold Welcome outside. outside. It's beautifully done. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, boy, Fran Belkin was great. Yeah, Wasn't she great? Iconic huh? name in Cleveland. stories? Yeah. First up, from bad luck to good, an 87-year-old New Jersey man fell and broke his hip, heading out to buy a lottery ticket on Tuesday. But thanks to some very good fortune, he was invited to join the employee lotto pool at the hospital <laughs> he was treated at. And they won, splitting the jackpot among 142 people, making them each 1,000 heirs. <laughs> well, don't they say that lottery winners, this is obviously not an example of it, but lottery winners typically have bad luck after they win. Like, people who win those big jackpots yeah. oftentimes fall on very hard times or things befall them in bad ways. Well, they have everybody and their uncle, including the 2,000 uncles that they really don't have, <laughs> calling them up to give them money. Right? That, I mean, that's what happens. I think it's a million dollars for all five of the white balls, and then they have to disperse that between 142 people. And what happened here the other night? Because we had an employee We got lot. the mega ball. Woo -woo. We got the number five? Yeah, that's we right. We won $2 for the whole station. <laughs> We each got like a penny. Oh, but it was two bucks penny. for the whole station. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I thought one we each ticket, got two bucks. <laughs> one hit. Okay. All the employees. All right, here we go. Our renowned <laughs> art auction house just sold the first piece of art created by artificial intelligence for more than four hundred thousand wow. dollars. The painting is a portrait of a man done by a computer algorithm, a formula that is also used as the signature on the piece. This is steam. STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. I only oh, watch STEM. I only do STEM. There. That's all I do. Do it on <laughs> Tuesdays and live on Fridays. Your calendar is up to date. Wow. I wonder <laughs> if this is the new thing in art, though, is it's not an artist mm. as much as it is a machine that well, what does do you something. Think about that? I, mean, I, I, I would prefer Don't the you old have school. lunch at the art? Institute I here have, at the, the, art at the, art, yeah, the Cleveland yeah. Art Museum. Delicious. If you haven't had lunch there, it's, it's a great place. It's great. Uh, that atrium is awesome. Yeah. But yeah, I think I prefer human it's art. They don't even know you're there sometimes. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I'm wearing the hat with the apple in front of my face. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm right behind the Monet. <laughs> okay. I want to get to this one. Okay, please do. Okay. Check this out. This canine gold digger, this dog in Oklahoma City has been slipping away from home and pretending to be a stray dog at a local McDonald's, bumming free food from sympathetic mm. patrons. The dog's mom went public with her story because she took video of it and found the dog doing it. When the dog then realized it was his mom, he went over and said, hi, mom. You know, I dog speak way. in dog lingo. <laughs> yes. You always have Doolittle. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> really not too amazing, I think, if you think about well, it. Well, maybe I mean, right. they get into a pattern where they, right. and I know this, OK? <laughs> and I know the two of you are watching back home. <laughs> and I'm on to you. <laughs> Hooper and Hank. Yes. Okay. They play me like a fiddle, uh -huh. okay, like a computer algorithm they come to painting. Eat from you, and then they go with their pouty eyes. To you, yeah, they do. And Cheryl is always stop giving them the animal crackers. But they look so I, sad. I know they do. I was feeding Huckleberry this morning, and my wife comes up and just hands him a spoonful of peanut butter, and I go, he can't have the pudding if he doesn't eat the meat. <laughs> Did she say that's the point? That's the point. That's exactly. The point. There you go. Uh -huh. Did that go right over your head? <laughs> it did. That went right over my head. That's a right over my head. Belkin reference. It all comes full circle here at seven. I feel so lost. We'll have to go back and look at the tape. They say this is the way it starts. <laughs> so You're gonna be at McDonald's being thrown fries at. Hi. <laughs> <before too long. laughs>